So let me explain why I use Film Convert Nitrate on almost every project I do. So let's dive into my latest project. So this is the, the short cinematic film you saw a day ago. Uh, let me explain how I use Film Convert Nitrate to really enhance and put some extra, extra grain of uh, cinematic uh, sauce on there. I'm gonna use uh, this reference clip right here to show you how I layer Film Convert on top of my Rec. 709. So the first thing I do is I put my own custom LUT on there. So this LUT is uh, made for uh, Canon C-Log3 and uh, you can find this LUT in the description down below. So once that LUT is on there, I uh, go into the clips and uh, I make some uh, final adjustments. Uh, we can turn this off. And now you see the footage just with the LUT on. And then I make some uh, adjustments uh, accordingly. Uh, but this looks uh, really fine. Uh, the highlights are up here. You see uh, sort of a veil from, from the sun. And the shadow sits uh, quite nice uh, down here. You can see uh, on the metroscopes. I pulled down the highlights. I raised uh, the midtones to get some more information uh, in the midtones. Uh, that's where I most, most of the times I want uh, the information in the midtones and then just uh, accordingly uh, drag down the shadows just a little bit uh, so uh, the contrast is uh, maintained. And then if we look at the other adjustment layer, let's put this on, you don't see that much of a difference. And that's because uh, in this layer, uh, just for this uh, kind of shot that I did right here with the sun was going down, so I just wanted to enhance that a little bit uh, with putting an S-curve on the blue channel. I dragged away some blues in the highlights, which makes them a little bit more yellowish and uh, just added some blues in the shadow. And that's uh, quite common orange and teal look. Uh, this was really subtle. I just wanted to enhance it just a little bit. So this is where the fun begins. Uh, let's see. Uh, if I put this on, you can see the look changes quite drastically. It's not something that's really in your face. It's just adding that sort of, um, uh, sort of almost vintage feel, almost the, the filmic look. It adds some depth. It uh, makes the highlights a little bit more soft. The colors and, uh, and the contrast, it's sort of like glues them together a little bit. If you put this on an adjustment layer, it looks like this. And this is where I changed a little bit. Uh, I, for this one, I chose uh, the Fuji Film Velvia 100. But there's a few ones here you can pick. Uh, my favorites are Fuji Film Velvia 100, which was on this one. And I also like uh, Astia uh, 100, that's also one of my favorites. So I usually pick one of these two to start with. Uh, sometimes I go with uh, the Portra look here as well. I think that one's really good. Uh, but let's uh, check this one out. Uh, I chose this one. And uh, if you want to, you have a full panel here. Uh, you can change exposure, temperature, tint. So this first layer uh, with Film Convert, I only look at the sp specific vibe, specific tones that I want in the image and see how they play along with each other and uh, how they play with the Rec. 709 footage, uh, which is uh, down below and uh, see if uh, the colors come out uh, natural and uh, yeah, just overall look. And as you can see, I also in this one, I put the film Luma. Uh, to 79. I thought the 100 was a little bit strong, uh, so I put it to 79. I didn't want to affect uh, really all that much in, in the sort of uh, contrast of the image, so I just put it down a little bit. This is what I do most of the times. I put an adjustment layer on top of that, and here I also put Film Convert. 
and let's toggle that on. I don't know if this is something many people do uh, in, in the grading process, but this is something that I have done uh, for quite a long time. This is also just to affect the, the image even more and sort of like uh, really glue everything together. I mess around uh, here as well. I usually put, uh, here I have Fujifilm Astia 100, which, which uh, is one of my favorite uh, film stocks. Uh, I usually mess around with uh, the film Chroma and, and the film uh, Luma as well here. Uh, because I don't want the full effect in the final layer of the film stock itself. So I mess around a little bit with these ones uh, just to get that, that look. And if we toggle this on and off, you can see that it also affects the image quite more, more in a su su subtle way. But let's go down. Uh, and this is also the layer in the final layer of, with film convert. I put, ta-da, the halation. So this is a, a this is a good uh, good frame that I can show you how this effect really really shines. So now it's turned off. Let's enable it. Now it's turned on. And if we zoom in to this picture just a little bit, like so. You can see here that this is the sun uh, behind uh, my daughter. She's standing there. Uh, let's toggle this on and off. So you can see it just puts on this little bit of little bit of uh, a veiling, uh, a little bit of softness to the highlights. And I really, really like this effect. It makes everything glow just a little bit extra. And uh, if you toggle this one on, view halation alone. You can see where the effect is applied. And you can change this. You can change this in the sensitivity. And see, now it affects uh, a pretty huge part of the image. And where did I have it? I have it at 64. I usually have it uh, around 50 to around 65. And then I play around with the strength and uh, the hue. Uh, if this was like a summer scene, maybe, the hue would be a little bit warmer, I think. This was obviously a cold, cold day. We were out playing. Uh, so I wanted the, the halation to be a little bit cooler. And uh, I wanted it to sort of mimic uh, uh, the color of the sun as well. So this is also a great example of uh, the, the strength of Film Convert and uh, the Halation plugin. Uh, let's do like this. Let's put it up on full screen here, or almost full screen. Let's toggle the effects off. And this is how I capture it in camera in C-Log3 from the Canon R5C. And you can see the full effect of the halation and how Film Convert just combines and sort of glue everything together in such a nice way. Here's also a great example of uh, Film Convert and halation working together. Uh, Film Convert combines the colors uh, into this uh, really awesome uh, filmic uh, color space and then halation takes those sharp edges that you see around the sun and just uh, smoothens them out to create this uh, really beautiful beautiful scene i have put some grain on uh, by default when you put film convert on the grain is gonna be enabled so for this first one i turned it off only want it in the last one and I left it at 35 millimeters. And by default, this is turned up to 100. I think that's too much. So mostly around 33, 35% uh, is, is mostly good. If I shoot with a really sharp lens, you can also play around a little bit with this uh, softness to just tone it down a little bit. When you want to emulate film, you want it to be a little bit softer, uh, not that clinically sharp. So you also have 
a grain curve here and I usually leave this this grain curve alone but I can go in sometimes and just pull up uh, uh, like pull up the grains in the shadows or, or in the highlights and do some sort of uh, adjustment there as well. So this is in short how I use Film Convert Nitrate and their new Halation plugin. I think it's uh, for me I've used Film Convert for I think around six or seven years and you find a link if you want to purchase uh, the Film Convert uh, Nitrate and the Halation plugin and you get 10% off and I get a small commission of that as well. I use it on my, my phone footage, I use it on, with my Canon R5C, I usually use it with uh, my DJI Osmo Pocket 3 now and uh, I think uh, together with my, my uh, Canon R5C LUT uh, which, brings, uh, which brings the C-Log3 to Rec. 709 I can just put the film convert on there uh, to just tie everything together, to glue it all together, the colors, the contrast, and really make uh, the look that I want to have on my films. Uh, so check that, uh, the link, uh, link is down below. And uh, thank you for watching. And uh, yeah, this is totally my honest opinion of, uh, of this plugin. I hope you enjoy this and uh, Go out, go out filming and, and make your own uh, cinematic short films. Uh, this plugin makes it a lot easier in the color grading process. I'll see you around. Take care. Bye bye.